Hello. Hi. So, we decided to make a podcast. We did. We thought it would be pretty fun. We did. This is our first... <laughs> serious second thoughts. <laughs> this is our first episode. Although it's our second filming. It is. I what w- happened, Bert? What the- <laughs> tell the room. <laughs> I didn't film it right. Oh, I was... <laughs> I was filming for Steam homepage in, in that window. I was filming for all so the people at the back who end up being able to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was filming for Steam homepage as opposed to Mountain Blade. But we're doing it right now. So that's good. <laughs> to be honest, Mountain Blade, you probably don't live for the dialogue. It's, it's a sort of game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a character already prepared. We do. Podcast Girl. She's very brave. Podcast Girl, is that her name? I think just podcast something. I think it's podcast underscore player. <laughs> So, do you want to get us in, bro? So, yeah. that's Arthur, he's doing the controls. I am. I'm Bertie, I'm doing oh. the, the sassy comments. Podcast player, you know, you're right. Podcast no, was I right? Yeah, you're you right. right. She's got a brave evil, because she's a very brave, brave evil. Person. She's a mixture of every alternate setting being on high, <laughs> and every other alternate being on low. <laughs> and we, and so, that's what you she's, get. She's just kind of normal. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. She'd look like a monster. The extremes ended up as a meme. So, shall we just pick the top one? Um, yeah, so we're oh, going to play... On. Can you? A lot of people playing, shall we go for that one? Yeah, right, yeah. So we decided to play Invasion. I think it's pretty good. It's a fun game mode. You can play it a lot of single player. It's quite easy but also challenging. Yeah, quite easy and also challenging. Well, because online, you just get butchered by some naked guy with a cleaver. True. On, in this mode. Oh, yeah, I was telling you earlier, on Mountain Blade, when you get the, oh. the naked guys with the cleavers, jumping, doing 360s. Yeah, you never mess with them. Yeah, they? don't mess with those guys. They've got a, they've got a handle on the situation. They know exactly what they're doing and you don't want to know. So what army are you? Um, Kogits. I'm going to just equip myself. I'm going to give myself some javelins. What do you like to play as? You're playing cavalry. Yeah. Because so what? What's a good cavalry build for you? I go for sword, shield, lance, and throwing something. Yeah. I'm, I think mean, that's pretty much what everyone does. Yeah, lances are good, but I don't know. It depends on the connection. That's true because I, I never really use lances that much. Online, uh, they're quite difficult to use because people are like, able to dodge them, as opposed to online where it's just they're incredible. Yeah. Let's, follow, let's have a bit of battle. Oh, you got red. So what's your plan for this, bro? Uh, Who are your companions? I've got to pick. Pick your companions, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can pick companions as well. Two AA, AI guys. Yeah, to so follow obviously you, we're going to pick Jeremus. Jeremus is. Look at that gangster pose. Who's that really useless woman? <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's not particularly controversial now, is it? Look at her. <laughs> She's kind of useless, but I don't know. Let's see if we can do anything about her. Here we go. She's good at trade, right? In the game? Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. got a cool backstory. What's her backstory? She wanted, let me guess, her really rich dad wanted her to marry someone and she didn't love him. Something like that, but she, yeah. like, she, if you go near a town, she tells you all about it. Like, yeah, they, they all do about it, don't they? Yeah, it's quite interesting. Who's your favourite companion, bro? Probably oh, Jeremus. Jeremus, yeah. Or Ferentis, I have a liking of Ferentis. I can't remember them. I like Francis truly, but oh, I know exactly I like Francis because now. he looks so dumpy with his little. Whenever you give him a helmet, he looks like a, a kid on, on his first day at school. I'm going to die. Wouldn't you say? You are going to die. That was awful. <sighs> what round was that? Five? Seven. Seven. One of the things about this though is you get two lives if they break the weird cart. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do I like it. Do you. One. Because. This isn't actually my favourite mode, man. But my favourite mode was probably the like, persistent mode. Persistent mode. Well, I didn't really get into it. Because I played it with a friend. Okay. And we, it was very strange. We figured out to make a lot of money. It was mine. Okay. Because there's always. What were you mining? Coal. Coal. So this is this is very mountain blade. We got a horse. We got a cart. We saved up for ages for them, by the way. And some guys came up and killed you. No, 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 no. Weird than that. So anyway, so we got this little cart. Finally figured out how to get it to work. We were in a little bit of cash. And then these two guys turn up, and they don't kill us, they enslave us. <laughs> How incredibly mountain blade. And so, yeah, so we're, we're, we're slaves. <laughs> I don't think our last is done. Look at all these guys on the other. A lot. And they, these guys are hard to kill. Oh, one of them's got a cleaver. Time to go. Oh, he's got healing on me now. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, so for, in Invasion, you see these chests on the ground. Um, they contain special items. They don't, com- they don't ever contain normal items, do they? No. Um... I'm just gonna and some of them are kind of weird. Yeah, so you've got the awesome spear, which is kind of funny because you, you don't actually know what it is. He's got it there, he's got it there. He got, yeah, he's got the awesome spear. The awesome spear's description is awesome. awesome. It's, it's, awesome. it's just awesome, isn't it? I think it might be awesome spear. I think, I think it just says awesome. But regardless, it's not the most... It's not very clear. 
But I guess it's just yeah, slightly better spear. You get for both shoots javelins, that, which I like the idea of. Yeah, this this guy's wearing two two things. He's got most of them. Oh, hang on, hang on. What oh, you, you might be playing soon, bro. Yeah, he's got a he's got healing armor. He's got the vulnerable helmet, and he's got. I guess that's what he's got. And, and we got some spear. Oh, oh, he's destroyed. Ah, uh, so yeah, we're back to him. Now right? the cart's been destroyed. We should be going back in there. We, uh, okay, nice, nice. We're not doing very well, though. We haven't got a single kill. Oh, this must be pretty really good. This must, why is this not work? this what, what's not working? What's not working, bro? Um, Alright, oh, we're a bit Oh my right. god, bro, can you not charge? Oh, all these horses in the way. Oh, that's that... no excuse. Oh, it kind of is. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, the horse stops immediately if it comes close to another horse. Yeah. Which can, which can work in your favour. You, you can stop like a yeah, like cavalry have... charge by just being in the right angle. Uh, so, uh, I thought it would be good to talk about the games we've been playing recently. Which is Battle Football. Which is Battle Football. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's happening again! What's happening again? I'm dying, look at my health. Get healing on, bro, it's game breaking. It is. It's literally game breaking. <laughs> So, what have you been playing, Brewer? Battle for the Lawn. Okay, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? I like how, unlike other Battlefield games, it's not saturated. What do you mean by saturated? So, in Battlefield 4 and 2 of be Battlefield 3, you had like a million guns. Okay. And you had to grind your way through all of them. And it's just half the guns did the same thing. Yeah, that's true. And it's like, it's sort of a trend I think started with Modern Warfare 2, maybe. Because, you, do you remember in Modern Warfare 2? All of the assault rifles were okay, apart from the ACR, which was much better. Yeah. But I was well, I don't think it started with... No, but that's I where, think I, that's just that's where I remember it really starting. For genre, just having rapid-fire weapons, right? Yeah, but Battlefield 1 sort of gets around that by just weirdly not including as many weapons. So each weapon is different. So it's much easier. Well, I mean, for, you, can't, you can't modify a weapon, can you? It's you can. No, you can't. You can. You can fix bayonets. You can do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, but that's, but that's a separate weapon, isn't it? No, no, no. You can. I've I've looked around. You can change it to what way it recoils, which I don't know. Can you really? Yeah. I thought you just. I don't know. You got like a Lee Enfield of a skill. Doom javelins. Yeah. What, what does that do? Stuff. Does that drain health? Yeah. I think we kind of won this okay. round. Well, I'll definitely have a look at that later then. But yeah. Um. What do you not like about it, bro? Well, again, it's a bit inaccurate. A bit inaccurate. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, ah, it's because it's down here. I mean, I guess it's difficult to make everyone play with rifles. Yeah, but I wish there was a mode for that. Yeah, that'd be good. I used to pick them a Japanese as well. Yeah, as I, as I told you earlier, it seems like it's uh, it's got like World War Two kind of gameplay set in Battlefield uh, World War One maps. Yeah, the maps are very good. Yeah, maps are great, obviously. And it doesn't even matter there aren't that many of them. Because no, they're, they're really good. They're fun. They're not really that repetitive. You think we have some better armor? You pretty pumped like uh, Verdun. I am very excited it? for that. I find that battle very interesting. Yeah, that's true. Because none of the maps are really traditional World War One. Well, you've got no, they like, still well, kind of are. Well, didn't you say? But it's because it's what we think of as World War One. True. We still we spoke about this in my latest module. Module ah okay. We'll take a little detour. What do you study, bro? International politics and military history. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. What year? Uh, what year? Third. Uh, so last year? Yeah, yeah. Where do you study? Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth. I haven't got a single kill yet. Hit well, that that's your fault. Uh, whoa! That guy's a beast! You see that? You used to have two javelins. <laughs> oh, his javelins are war darts. No, no, javelins. Look at him! It looks like my, it looks like my horse hit in the back. It's got to be 80% Slavic. Yeah, this game's got a funny kill. Ah, I got a kill. Oh, I got hey, you got a kill. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> Seems to be a, something worth celebrating. See, this guy's got to figure it out. <laughs> That's the Vashi. What? Who gave healing arm to the Vashi? Why would you do that? I don't know. If you I, should, I should quite like the Vashi. Oh, my. The yeah, internet connection around here is not really. Yeah. Oh, oh. Lance. We're in we're in Shropshire, it's quite rural, so internet connection's a bit of an issue. It's okay because Brexit will fix it. Brexit will fix everything, bro. We're gonna get finished with me. Brexit will make our uh, waifus real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I said you such probably military history. Let's history. follow someone. Let's follow this guy. I wanna find a guy if he's still alive with my javelins in him. 
So yeah, you're studying international politics and military history. The military history. Okay. So I've just had a my key module on the First World War and 18th and 19th century warfare. Okay. So that was interesting, but one of the key things studied about it was the different fronts, and Bradford one actually captures that quite well. So yeah, but don't you think it doesn't really include what we would consider for typical? They, well, it does to a degree. I mean, you've got the spring. I mean, there's a reason we come to associate World War, World War One so much with trench warfare. There is, but that's only one front. Yeah, but I, 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 I personally would have preferred more focus on. I would have wanted an Italy map in the winter, because the Italian front in the winter was like it would have been made of a very cool map because you had snow, you had trenches and snow and stuff like that. Oh. And you had snow tunnels. Well, maybe I'll get to it. Maybe. They are, they... So can I go and do like a Russian front? I hope they do. That would be good. Lots of cavalry. A cavalry map would be good. I hope yeah. they introduce a plane map at some point. Yeah. Or just a naval map. That'd be fun. That would be good, but I don't know. If I've only really got one uh, battleship, don't they? We didn't so... have many. I mean, what? Is it three people to a ship? Yeah. So if you had ten ships, that's 30 people. Each team. Yeah. And you could have lots of other ships. This going around. Hmm. True. I think we'd all like to play a game where we play an adrenal. Hmm. I mean, that, maybe that's just me. That'd be fun. Uh, that's a bit too much. Maybe if we just abandon all my other stuff. Are you going hardcore? I j I Are you going to be one of those topless guys with a cleaver? I could go for that. <laughs> just spent all our money on Saul. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 12? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the javelins aren't working out, so I'm just gonna, gonna give myself a half. The yeah, the throwing axes are so good. You know, something good. I'm gonna give myself good shoes actually, because you need them. That's a bit too much. No, no need for them. There we go. Yeah, and I studied business studies. You did, like yeah. Mark. Like Mark Horrigan in Peep Show, <laughs> which is a British comedy show. Everyone's a Peep Show. If they didn't know what Peep Show is, go away. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so business studies in Manchester, Metropolitan, not for good university in Manchester. No, and you, and you live next to a gay bar. I live next to... Do I? On Ken Astry. I didn't live next to there. You did, you live like a two minute walk away. My university was supposed to be. Your university accommodation first year was? No, we're near Canal Street. I remember walking there from it. Well, obviously you seem pretty desperate to get to Canal Street, bro, <laughs> and I'm not going to go into that. It's happening. <laughs> Let's keep this family, family <laughs> friendly, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's leave some so race hate for, 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 for our <laughs> Race <time>. hate? Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, it's a different race. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, study business, <laughs> that's basically. The, that's the sort of topic we discuss in the other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you can find that on the deep web. <laughs> uh, study business, basically, because Dad wanted me to. Happy oh I my god, it. are you in Frozen? <laughs> Are Why? You a, are you a Disney princess? Your dad wanted to, but you really wanted to do ballet. <laughs> I really want to marry the handsome prince. But you're not a rich one. Wait, what? You're oh, basically, Yimra. What's her name? Yimra. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get oh, oh. done. Bro. Oh my. <laughs> uh, oh, finally, my horse betrayed me. <laughs> yeah, it really captures like, a horse, a horse, a kingdom for my horse vibe. Well, no, because. I don't know, my horse gonna have sold me out there. Oh, I've got lots of money. Oh, that's right, bro. It was for horses' fault. So now I actually have lots of money, I'm just gonna beef out. I'm gonna run. Yeah, that's a. <sighs> what kind of horse gonna get? Oh, this gonna be fun. Right? That's a good thing about how easy it is to get money, is that if you die, you, you can just beef up again. Ooh. And. It's interesting as well because so many of the items you get from the crates. Are way more valuable for anything you can buy. Yeah. So you really do feel it still if you die. If you lose your healing armor. Yeah. Even the healing armor never helps me. Always die on. I think we like it because you saw that one guy the first time we played it who held up. We like it because it looks crazy samurai, bro. <laughs> you know that's a reason. <laughs> um, yeah, I finished. I finished. Yeah, bit of a detour there. Finished university two years ago now. Thing. And now you're teaching in Spain. Teaching assistant in Spain. Yay. For these reasons, I'm a teaching assistant. <laughs> um, which I love, it's great. You, um, get, you get to teach adorable little Spanish kids. Adorable little Spanish kids. One little kid calls me papa. That's a bit weird. It's because he means dad. Tell him off. No, he's free. <laughs> Tell him off. <laughs> Sometimes he calls me mama. I think he gets a bit confused. Tell him off. <laughs> I can't tell him off, he's super cute. 
Turn them off! I'm gonna, I'm gonna ring up the school and put colour on for it. <laughs> and then she tell him off. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. It's really good. Tell them what to be a video. <laughs> what game have I been playing? Yeah, Battlefield 1 again. Yeah, but you can play Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1. I Maybe. played, um, because me and you only meet up every four months if we're lucky. Yeah, we'll probably Six months, yeah. Then yeah. we just game Because on. obviously you're in Wales and I'm in Spain. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's the unlucky one. Yeah, oof. Avarice with. Yay, I contributed. <laughs> I did all for that game. I'm pretty sure Jeremy's got most of my kills, which I'm not upset about. Well, he can redeem himself next round. I will not. <laughs> Podcast player. <laughs> Look at this horse. It's kind of stopped the. I think his legs have stopped moving on the rock. Nice. Oh. It's like a Warhammer figure. It's an infantry one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, cavalry ones are a bit lame. Oh, many. Let's see what he does. How much we've ever seen and stuff. So you're going to be a man at, man at arms, no, a, um, a guard. What have you called? Sergeant, I think. Sergeant. Or just infantryman, maybe. Can we get going to get a two-handed weapon, bro. I'm going to get a bastard sword. No good. Get great sword, bro. No, I want to use it more than war darts, and also... Uh, I, I like this bit. Yeah, that's actually good enough. Oh, but you're not going to get it, bro. No, oh, I don't, don't really, really have the cash. So uh, this is Armenia and Devashi. Devashi looks a lot like me. <laughs> I look like an older version of her. So. Oh, wait, wait, these are my guys. These are my guys. So, yeah, yeah, we don't meet up too much, and that means I don't play on the Xbox One no. much. So, I also play Fallout 4. Yeah, Fallout 4, I do enjoy Which, it. as I've had like a six month gap, I've completely forgotten the story, and like, forgot my quest. So, I'm not really that hooked. Which is a shame. The story isn't that encumbering. Yeah. Which is a shame because in like Fallout New Vegas, I really don't don't feel like going after my son. <laughs> I just don't feel connected to him in any way. He comes off as really hoity-toity, hoity-toity to me. Okay, what does that word mean? Fancy. Fancy. He comes off. You just say fancy. No, hoity-toity because it's a hoity fancy word for fancy, and that's how I feel about him. <laughs> yeah, as I was describing this game to Dad today, I don't know why. What game is it? Matt Lloyd. <laughs> Why <Yeah. laughs> I don't know, because we've been playing it a lot recently. And yeah, I was telling him it's mechanically and, and how it functions, it's it's close to perfect. You know that's going to send you to special school now. <sighs> you can't describe Mountain Blade without coming across as you should say someone who browses for <laughs> Uh But it's got so little polish. And not just the graphics. It's basically. Do they use stock, stock um, voices? Drink. This is especially recorded voice for the game. I, I, why on earth would somebody record themselves saying it's almost harvesting season? I'm gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they spent out in Glasgow one night. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did we harvest a lot in Glasgow? Organs. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Let's contribute. Yay! Way. I've got two kills. You're gonna. Got money, bro. Got to spend it. I physically can't spend it on anything else. You can't, you already... Oh, no, my better shoot. Yeah, so that's a problem. You, you beef up in how many rounds is this now? The second round. Oh, you're in the reds, bro. You're massively in the reds. That's shield. You don't to beef up. Yeah, it's got some cool little items. What does this do? I've never actually used an all pipe before. It's just basically a... Power arm and big spike. Yeah. What's really weird about this game? Tell Considering me. how much time you spend in the campaign training and shirtless, they really didn't work on the shirtless mechanics. You look very strange. Shirtless? Yeah! Bro, everyone in Mountain Blade's ripped. Yeah, but they shouldn't be. <laughs> they should all be quite malnourished. Yeah. Considering it's never actually harvesting season, there shouldn't be any food. I was good. thinking about this, bro. I think it's much easier to animate a ripped body than a body with flab. Well, yeah. But it's so like, it's easier to animate a bald person than a book. And someone with lots of wavy hair. Though it's a bit different because everyone wants to play someone with wavy hair. Obviously. Why well, wouldn't you want to play with someone with wavy hair? Yeah, why wouldn't you? would look beautiful. Yeah, you could play with Brad Pitt and be me. I got killed. Brad Pitt, does he have wavy hair? He can do. He's Brad Pitt. I wouldn't put a pattern. I like how you think having wavy hair is a skill. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to genetics. He, he's a talented man. Talented yeah, He's got talented hair. He's got talented hair. He's a, his hair is very talented. I, I personally would rate it a 7 out of 10. If we put the back like 10. Which I think we have to do. Why are we talking about hair? 
So we got from we, we've gone from saying gay well, people are a different race to Never Back on Amazing Hair. Talking does. about our male crushes. No, not a crush. It's love. Call it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I find David Beckham to be a ten a, out of ten. And it's the, his hair is <laughs> his hair. Yeah. Hmm. So oh, is it? Uh, here we go. Still some speed. It's just as awesome. Yeah, I told you. Awesome. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna drop my old bike. Yeah. Why did I it's get probably better, more? right? Yeah, it's weird. You, you can't press F to change. You've got to press G to drop your weapon. Yeah. And then. So I've been thinking about Dead Rising. Oh yeah. Recently, uh, because the fourth one came out. Has it come out um, or is it coming out? It came out. It came out on fourth of December. Jesus Christ! And um, it's been criticised because it's it's become very formulaic. What calls it that? It's like a Ubisoft open world game. And I Do you have to climb things? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean, that's things, but um, yeah, it has that mechanic where you need to go to a certain area and it unlocks information about the surrounding area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And weapons and stuff. Um, which obviously is very Ubisoft. Uh, is it Ubisoft or Ubisoft? Ubisoft, it, right? It's just called what it is, Assassin's Creed it. Incorporated. Okay, Assassin's Creed Incorporated. With a dash of Far Cry. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see, I was thinking back to the first one and how stressful it was playing the first one. It was scary. It was scary. I, I, the first time I played it, I genuinely did not go out at night. Because I found it really annoying. Because I couldn't see anything. Yeah. And it was all the red yeah, eyes. Yeah, the first night time was, yeah, it was brutal. And, and there was a weird clown with a sword. But for me, for, for me, the stressful part was you know, there's always something to do within a limited amount of time. Because oh, I, I remember when I was the, yeah. when, when we were kids, uh, we'd never want to do the time trial missions in racing games. Yeah, yeah. Because time trials are just so stressful. They're really stressful. But that's basically all what Dead Rising is. Yeah. It's like... Everything is time trial. Yeah. You've got to you've got to go to the good part of the mall to get the weapons. Yeah. And then you've got to save in the tolerance, which takes time. Then you've got to maybe rescue someone. Then you, but you've got to make it back to where, where wherever to keep the main story mission yeah. going. I mean, let's be honest. Let's call Dead Rising the first one what it was. Proto Dark Souls. Because you had, yeah. no, you had no idea what the plot was, and it was very poorly explained, and there was a weird guy with a big sword. Basically Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, also the, um, they say the, the saving systems basically are identical. Yeah. You have to go to a basically to Dark save. Souls is a Dead Rising ripoff. Hashtag <laughs> 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 justice for Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> it's Capcom. Same thing. I was comparing it to a... Uh, Ubisoft game. Really? So it's not really Ubisoft game? No. I actually forgive of Ubisoft games because I think it's like their trademark. So have you climbed it? In the crew, which is Ubisoft. What is Capcom? Is that? That's not a Western company, is it? No, they don't make Pac Man. Okay, that doesn't help me. And I assume Pac Man is Japanese. What? <laughs> 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 uh, well, am I wrong? True. So, yeah. I was thinking Dead Rising. Because uh, it was. Um, it seems like for developers, when they made the game, they never intended for you to complete it in one playthrough. No, like, like Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I'm just really like, I don't care about. So the point is to, like, to die and to re repeat and get stronger and stronger and stronger until you can finally complete the game. Which, I don't know, it seems a bit of a change to uh, Dead Rising 4. Which is not the case. Apparently, you, you don't even have missions to rescue survivors. Oh, what? Fair random. This is what I heard. I wouldn't want to be outed as being. as spreading face, uh, fake news. <laughs> but. Yeah, I think that's the case. Ran I, th I think survivors are like random occurrences. That sucks. Surprise survivors are one of the best bits of the game. Do you remember there was that fountain? In the first one? Fountain. And there was an Uzi in it. And it was the only Uzi in the game, so I could tell. And the zombies couldn't get into the fountain because the wall was too high. Oh. And so what I did at night was if I was caught out, I'd just sit in the fountain, spraying the UC. <laughs> it worked really well. And if you got into a car, you won the game. Yeah. Well, also, what I liked about Dead Rising was the weapons lasted so such a little time. Yeah. You couldn't really get attached to it. You had to learn to to use it and then move on to something else. Was. Well, Go on the topic of zombie games. Do you know what I think one of the most underrated zombie games was? Underrated zombie game? Yeah, yeah, because they're usually all a bit rubbish. Yeah. I was... I can't remember what it's called now. I had it on the 360. Oh, uh, was it that one... Dead of Night? Dying Night? No, 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 no. It was open world. 
but it was completely open world. Yeah, and it was and really... If you died, you had to get... And you said something about cars are really good. Yeah, cars were good, but they broke down, and it got very, very annoying, because I'd used every single car in that game, and I'm not exaggerating. I couldn't find any more. In the end, I, the game became a car find. What was that, Dead by Daylight? No, no, no. no. Oh, we'll have to find out later. Oh, damn. <sighs> you see that? I'm going to check on my phone now. I feel like the audience deserves closure. Yeah, they do. But um, it was a fun game. I really enjoyed that game. Why did you like it? Because it was open world zombies. You got to drive around and like, if you drove by a zombie, you couldn't hit. You press X, you open the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. It was dynamic. But how did it separate it from other open world zombie games? Basically, it was the settlement system in Fallout 4 with zombies. Okay. So it was a persistent challenge. You were given. You could build little outposts, turn them into settlements, which I did. I had a lot of them. That, they were like there was a genuine storyline which I never got to the end of because. We got How long did you play it? A few hours, good few hours. I'm quite invested into it, but again, I I couldn't do it because I used up all the cars running over zombies. That's that's following up your person. Um, yeah, Wolf. I'm so bad at playing. At continuing to play video games now. Yeah. So many of my Steam games just have like two hours. I I mean, it took me so long to get to the final four, and I dropped forty quid in that. Nice. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Talk. Talk to. Talk to us about how to find for. It's a fun game. If you don't get it, get. If you don't play it. Get off the. Get off the video. <laughs> You're not quite welcome. That reminds me, bro. I got um, that email came through from Paradox. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they've, they've sent you payment. <laughs> <laughs> how many shekels? <laughs> shekels. <laughs> God. I mean. Um, how <laughs> many show books? So, but seriously, what do you like about Art of Iron Fall? I, I like how in depth it is. In depth? What yeah. What makes it in depth? In, in what way? I personally like the fact that I get to choose what equipment my troops get, and if I'm raising a port, if I'm raising a di division I don't like the name of, I can give them World War One equipment in 1931 and just send them into a tank battle. <laughs> <laughs> so, what equipment? Do you mean like weapons? Yeah, yeah they are great, of course. Like yeah. food? No, you'd have to get food. That's one of the Is that just leaked in, um, lumped in with supply? Supply, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. There we go. It's for game you're talking about State, State of Decay. Yes, State of Decay. A sequel's coming up. Yeah. It, the adverts got, got quite a lot of attention because it was over ambitious. What do you mean over ambitious? It's one of those trailers that show a lot of things happening at once and you're was watching. It, was it a little bit indie? Like you just had like. like Ten seconds of footage. No, 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 no. It was a it proper was. E3 video demonstration of the game. Mm. But you're watching it, and sometimes this works. But I was kind of like, "There's no way to mm. it's off." Mm. It, so Skyrim also did that to me. I was like, "Skyrim, okay." Because remember, did you remember the E3 trailer? And it shows people like cinematically stabbing each other, and yeah. I was kind of like, "Oh, it's just cinematics." Yeah. And then you start playing the game, and it's like, "Oh, wow, you can actually like sneak up behind people, cut their throats." I think it might end up being like that because they're not Bethesda. Yeah, I mean people shit on AA games, AAA mm -hmm. games, but yeah, they are, they are there is a reason why they sell so much. Well, GTA Five, that's still good. People still play that. Yeah, because talking, speaking about uh, Battlefield One, uh, people are saying Verdun, mm -hmm. which I would I would say is probably its competitor. Competitor, uh, mm -hmm. it's wouldn't you say? I or would say it's competitor in the way that Warhammer Total War is competitor to Hearts of all that fan is not helpful. How about Civilization is a competitor to Europe Universal? You know, they both cover a similar sort of game style, maybe, mm. but they're different games. True. People won't buy one. Okay, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. But people are saying Verdun, whereas it's very realistic and there's mm. an emphasis on that, it just feels clunky. Yeah, but I mean, the thing, the great thing about games like that is that you can give them time as long as the game works. And is Verdun still early access? I don't think it's early access. It might be. I think it might still be in beta, but not. I don't know. That is yeah. early access. But, but that's, that's something you could take for granted. Is just how how good it feels. Yeah. If the game works, I have no problem with early access. It, yeah, they, they figure they figure out all the under the hood stuff, all the mm -hmm. minor things you'd never really. Oh notice. my god! What's that? Just it's it's like I've stumbled into an <laughs> ant's nest. Who who are you find? I don't even know at this point, but I just got a headshot, which makes me happy. Barbarians, uh, I think I'm fighting King Outlaw. Thousands of them. <laughs> this isn't Zulu. The Zulus would have killed this planet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Zulu. I think joke. we're fighting King Outlaw. King Outlaw. Is it King Outlaws? 
I think I'm asking out. <laughs> yeah, mighty king outlaws. <laughs> the mighty king outlaws. Oh, only two waves left. We're doing quite well, 20 kills on this. Yeah, that's not bad. But yeah. It's do, like... your, do your companions come back automatically? When you or die. Do you, do you have to like, click a They're under the same rules as you. Okay. Which is why it's quite a good thing about But it's you. weird for when they die, they don't get fair equipment back. No. Jeremus can work for it. Yeah, Jeremus is pretty metal. <laughs> he deserves no sympathy. He deserves no sympathy. Oh man. It's a shame you can't really do anything with your money. Jeremus, oh. stop blocking me! If you're gonna Jeremus, you're gonna... You're gonna... He's such a traitor. But anyway, Jeremus. Yeah, it's, it's a shame you can't really, really do anything with your money after you've got off the equipment for yourself. Yeah, we should buy fancy things, like stuff that had no... Or maybe like defences or something No, like I that. just want to build like gold crowns. Gold crowns? I want... You're so decadent, bro. I want I want to be decadent. I want... I'll, you should be able to buy a queen for your companions. Yeah. Like, I want Jeremy's stuff no clothes in this game. It'd be cool if you could like increase your stats. Hmm. Like strength and agility and all that. Yeah, that'd be good. But you can't. Or health kits. Health kits are a bit lame, bro. No, so like in the middle of a game. Before yeah, the end that's of what healing armor's for? That is true. You should be able to pay for to re to re do the box. So if you don't get something you like. That's not bad, yeah, it's just something, because what what are you gonna do with fifteen K? Well get my life back. Maybe revive? Oh. Well I've got nah, it's it's But I like the idea of being able to cycle the box for like one K. Yeah. It would remind me a lot of um what's it called? What other game? Call of Duty Zombies. I play a lot of uh, Total War as well. Yeah, we both do. I think that's a game I play the most. Also War Thunder. But, uh, it's a little strange because you get into, like, you won't touch it for months. Yeah, then you stop playing. And then you won't stop playing. Yeah. I do that with Shogun Total War too. I don't like Shogun Total I've, Wars. I very rarely finish a campaign on Total War. I, see, I can't, I always have to finish my campaign and it's done. Yeah. I, I only do that as well because I make it a rule to myself. I don't, I don't start a new campaign until I finish a one-on-one. -on -one. I set the narrative. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to tell for your audience again? <laughs> what a narrative. Uh, yeah, so I just run myself on story. Let's follow someone else. Oh, it's actually kind of interesting that Lord's veteran right now. Well, um, oh no, the scroll wheel. I was trying to zoom out. Is this guy metal? Is he metal? Well, he's wearing a lot of armor. Hmm. That was a joke and you didn't laugh. <laughs> Good <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh, I think we're running out of people. Bunduk. My man. Oh no, he's AI. Let's, let's watch him just decimate him. But no. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No! I thought, <laughs> Fly, you fool. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. There's Bunk a guy there. with a two handed sword and what looks like running boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's, I feel like he might be. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god. I feel like... Yeah, I think, I think if you turn your camera as you attack, you add more speed. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably true. Look, it's, <laughs> I mean, that kind of makes sense, because you put your whole body into the attack. Oh man, this is... Uh, it, it works like that. Is he dead end? Is he... That's the book. I think you... <laughs> you knocked over our script! <laughs> Not really a script, but... Really... It's not a <laughs> Chat. Mountain Blade chats are the best when they're not being really racist. <laughs> Sadly, they're not great that often. So, uh, you were telling us about narrative. Yeah, so if you set yourself a story as you're playing. So, in a recent game, I was playing Pot Top War, I was the Polish of Wayne Commonwealth. I set myself the objective of um, like keeping the Empire together and also puppeting regimes all over Europe. It didn't turn out because you can't do that in a Pot Top War, but I pretended I did. <laughs> Yes, audience. It sounds very autistic, doesn't it, <laughs> audience? <laughs> Stop trying to be Yahtzee! Oh, no! Is that, is that it? Yeah. That's it. Well, I reckon that's time anyway. Yeah. So, this was our first uh, stab Is it recorded properly? If Which I recorded properly. I'm pretty sure it did. We, well, I hope it did. Let's quit. So, yeah, that was our first podcast. Hopefully, Hopefully it worked out alright. Hopefully everyone else in the house enjoyed it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Full house. Full house, uh -huh. So, bye. Bye.